In today's video, I'll show you how to backup and restore Windows 10 files or system images using built-in Windows tools and inexpensive external storage. So let's get started. Look, I know computer backups are just one more thing you have to deal with and worry about on your PC, but backing up your system is essential for protection against a lot of factors. Some of those factors that contribute to data loss are accidental file deletions, hard drive failures and system crashes, ransomware attacks, malware infections and viral issues, and corrupt program installs, weird driver issues or Windows updates rendering your PC inaccessible. A proper backup lets you restore your entire system or individual files without losing important data. Now let's look at creating a full backup of your PC using Windows built-in system image and backup tools. Go ahead and plug in your external hard drive to your PC. I'd recommend using a one terabyte external drive as they are fairly inexpensive now and they usually house enough storage space for most users' backup sizes. Next, let's go to the control panel. Then select Backup and Restore. Then let's click Create a System Image. Here, we'll want to choose your external drive. It'll usually be drive letter D colon or E colon, but be sure to select the proper backup drive. Lastly, let's click Start Backup. Now this full system backup method may take some time initially, but if you start backing up often enough, these backups eventually will only take a few minutes. We can also do a system backup in Windows. To do this, let's open the control panel, click on Backup and Restore, then click Set up Backup. Select your backup drive, then click Next. Select the items you wish to back up and click Next. Click Save Settings and Run Backup to start the backup. Again, these methods save a full snapshot of your system, allowing you to restore everything if Windows crashes or even if you get a new storage drive. Now, if you only need to back up your files, I'd suggest using Windows File History. To do that in Windows 10, let's go to the Control Panel, then click File History, then Turn On. It may take just a few minutes for File History to snapshot all of your files. Windows will now automatically save copies of your desired files, so you can restore them anytime needed. Okay. So now your computer is acting up and we need to restore a few of those files or even your system's full image. Well, let's see what that looks like. To restore your files from a Windows backup, follow these steps. If your computer is booting and Windows is working, we'll want to be sure your external drive is plugged up. Then we'll go to the control panel, then select backup and restore. Then we'll click restore my files, select your backup, the desired files to restore, and a restore location. In no time, your files should be back to normal. Now, if your computer won't boot and Windows won't start, You'll want to plug up your external backup drive and insert your Windows Recovery USB into your computer. You can check out our video on how to make a Windows Recovery USB if you don't already have one. We'll put a link to it in the video notes as well. Boot into your Windows Recovery USB. You can follow the prompts to locate and repair your system image using your system image backups. And that's it. Your Windows PC is now restored and fully functional. Please don't wait for a hard drive crash or malware attack to address your Windows backups. Create a backup today and protect your data before it's too late. Let us know in the comments if you're doing backups on your PC. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please consider giving it a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and ring that notification bell. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye bye everybody.